So, so now how do you do this? So they were talking to. We're talking to you now. What do you, what do you prefer, Levi Fonz or Levi Ponce? Ponce? Levi Ponce. All right. Los Angeles artist. Yeah, Levi Ponce out of L.A. Born and bred. Uh, yeah, Pacoima, California. In Pacoima. Pacoima, you know. It. That's right. That's a good place because that's where my office is. So, <laughs> there you so go. Uh, you're still in Pacoima. Yeah, I'm still in Pacoima. That's great. That's great. Um, so, describe this process for me. This is like a photorealistic, and you're using a photograph. Is it a famous photo? Is it a photo that you adapted? It's, actually, it's, it's the color of uh, it's the cover of the Bad Album by Michael Jackson. Uh -huh. And uh, the process, I don't know, it's simple. I like painting portraits. Um, I usually make a Photoshop uh, composite before I paint it on the wall. So uh, I have a Photoshop composite that's uh, proportional to everything else, you know, everything else like on the wall. At which point uh, I just start painting. I use the grid system and I just take it a square at a time and. That's all it is. Square at a time, so you, you uh, put this on a graph, basically? Exactly, I graph it all out. And so you don't it. graph it on the wall. At least I don't see I do see graph it, it on the wall. I don't, we don't see a graph at this point. <laughs> we don't. Like it's been lost in the paint. But initially, to, to draw it out and make sure everything's, you know, to scale. Proportional, yeah. And proportional, yeah, we use a, we use a graph. Wow. But, uh, yeah, once the drawing's down and we know where everything is, then, yeah, we just start painting. So you throw the outline up and then you just, I mean, so you throw the, the grid up. Uh, on the wall, and then you just outline, just do the outline along the grid, and then fill it all in. Exactly. And you know where you are in the in the overall process. Exactly. S simple. How come yeah, I didn't think Couldn't of get that? easier. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, when when you when you uh, so so you just do this out of your out of your memory. You just look at the because I don't even see you hardly looking at a photo up there. So you just remembering what it looks like. And, and doing the painting, or do you or you got a secret photo I, got, I haven't seen? And no, you're I got a photo. Uh -huh. I got a photo, you know, and I look at it and do my best to copy it. Uh, I wouldn't call it photorealism. I do change a lot of things on the photo when I paint. There's certain things I do different. Um, I don't know. I, I change the proportions of the human body when I paint, depending on what I'm painting and where I'm painting. But um, do you change the expression? No, the never the expression. Much? Just some proportions, but slightly. Um, I always make the eyes bigger, for example. Okay. So all my paintings have bigger eyes than they normally would. Okay. Um, and I exaggerate certain features that I might like. So if somebody has a chiseled nose, I might exaggerate that feature uh -huh. and make sure that that's noticeable. So I thought that looked a little artistically accentuated Jimi Hendrix yeah. picture, but but it, it looked like a, a picture I'm familiar with seeing, but I just can't remember the exact reference point. You know, it's probably an album uh, right. that, that I've seen. Um, I think it was a photo shoot in London. Was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. See, that's why you're an artist and I'm just a guy asking <laughs> questions. Um, so now, two colors here. You're using yellow and black. Now, so tell me, you could, you could tell street I am because we're sympathetic to all artists. Just low budget, you can only afford two colors or... That's exactly what it is. Or why was it, or why did you choose yellow and, and black? I chose yellow and black because the building was already yellow and the building owner had some yellow left over, so all I had to do was buy black. Wow, did you have to go to the paint store to actually match the yellow? <laughs> no, no, he had some left. He had, he had enough, yeah. huh? Wow, that's, and so really that was the reason? You just wanted to do two colors that was che less it's expensive? cheaper, yeah. If you're not getting paid, you want to keep costs down, right? Oh, you're <laughs> not getting paid for this? I don't get paid for any of these, no. Oh, man, you should get paid for these. I these should are, get paid, huh? Yeah, these tell are whoever's in charge. Well, whoever's signing the checks up there, tell them to sign me one real quick. Oh, well, you need... <laughs> oh, is, this your, is, this your, uh, is this your documentary uh, artist here, uh, photographer here? Uh, yeah. Or a girlfriend, or... <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to tell I, me. I don't, well, tell we me normally just don't acknowledge the camera, but yeah, she, uh, she documents most of my work. See, that's all you need, because once you get shared a bunch of times, then you get commissions and so forth. At least I'm sure that's what you're hoping for. Yeah. Get, get shared that enough on the nice net. <laughs> so, um, so, when you uh, think of street art, the reason I like street art and street culture is because it's a net-driven uh, medium. All street culture, uh, busking and street art is all a net-driven medium, but it's the only net, um, one of the only net-driven mediums that, ha that has to happen on the street. Real life actually has to happen before it can go on the net, but it only has a life on the net because once it's on, it can be, you know, graffitied over or painted over or right. weather beaten and you know, it's not like a museum. It's forever on the web, right? So it's kind of magic that it's a that it's a, a web-driven thing, but it actually has to happen on the street in order to get on first. the web. Very true. Yeah. So, 
maybe this sort of medium will drive people from the web back to the street to make things happen so they can go and see it on the net, you know? It's an interesting thought. Um, so we, so that's, that's where I was headed with that question. Do you have any thoughts on what street art is and where it's going? And, and what uh, street art is? How, how street, it fits into the... Street art hasn't changed in 10,000 years, bro. It's just somebody saying, I'm here, you know? That's all it is. Somebody saying, I'm here. You are I'm alive. Here. I exist. <laughs> and today I'm here in North Hollywood. <laughs> and, and who's building with this, and how did you get permission? Uh, this building belongs belongs to a buddy of mine named Rel. Okay. Uh, he's my buddy now, but he he owns the uh, building and rents it out to several recording studios. Uh, okay. I've heard the name before. I don't know why, but yeah, it's just uh, a name someone else has. It. But, cool guy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he saw me when I was painting the one across the street, and he said, Hey, I'd love to get something in my building if you want to paint. The wall's yours, so... And that one's uh, used as well. The one on, on the uh, well. on the AJ's discount at right. forty nine hundred. That's yours. And what what is that one? So I'm going to take a picture of that pretty soon. What that what one's that called one? Soliloquy. Okay. Uh, it's based on uh, all the theater theaters that are here in this area. We oh. have the second largest concentration of theaters here in North Hollywood. Right. Right after Broadway. So um, I just wanted to kind of highlight that, you know, feature that in this mural that. Uh, you know, it's something very special about North Hollywood. Yeah, it is, it is becoming even more special with, uh, like, new activities, a lot of activity going on here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, how long have you been doing street art? And uh, my whole life my dad did it, so I, I always painted murals with him, and now uh, I do it on my own, you know? But yeah. I, I didn't really take it seriously and do it a lot until about uh, 2011. That's when I really started doing it. And who's your dad? Uh, my dad's Hector Ponce. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And he was from Pacoima as well? He's from uh, San Salvador, El Salvador. He's All from right. Central America. All right. Yeah. That's great. So how long are you going to be here in LA? Are you going to be here all your life? Are you going to, what, are you, what, are you, what are you trying to do <laughs> I, with I your... I think uh, so. I think, uh, yeah? I think I'm going to retire in my big Pacoima mansion. <laughs> well, uh, there's so many in Pacoima too to yeah, choose from. There's so many mansions to choose from. <laughs> so uh, what is it you want to do with your... You, know, you want to travel the world? You want to... Uh, yeah, you, you know it. I yeah. want to travel and... You know, do what I love and not have to worry about bills. I think that's the dream. <laughs> is there any particular projects that you want to get involved in? Projects? Yeah, with street art, what do you, what do you want your street art to do? Um, uh, particular projects that I want to get involved with? No, not really. I mean, I'm into everything, you know, I'm into everything positive. So as long as I'm painting, I'm cool. It doesn't have to be anything special or anything big. I just like painting. So when you were, when you were starting out, did you uh, find yourself scribbling on everything? and? Doodling on everything. <laughs> I, I just had dinner interview with like my name in random places. Yeah, here and there. Yeah, I did a little interview with Kenny Sharp, and he did some. He does packaging stuff. He does stuff like on iPhones and covers for uh, speakers and things like that. And he was. He said he was always like scribbling on phones and painting on, you know, all, on radios and all kinds of stuff when he was growing up. So, you know, he wanted yeah. to do that. All the margins wanted. in my notebooks, like you name it, everything was uh, tatted up. Tatted up. <laughs> That's great. So you're going to be, uh, so, so you were basically driven ever since you were uh, young to just be creative, right? Yeah, basically. I've always been around it. It's always been what I did, what I did, what I do, you know. That's great. Hey, thanks a lot. It's a great mural. I'm going to come back. When do you think it's going to be right, done? Thanks. I think uh, one more weekend. One more weekend? Yeah, so I was here last Sunday. I'm here this Sunday. I think one more Sunday and we'll be all right. So I can come back next Sunday and I can take the last photos yeah. and it'll be a finished product. Yeah, I welcome you and anybody else who wants to come along now. Yeah, come Same on here. down, 4900 Lancashire Boulevard on a Sunday. There you go. Starting about 12 o'clock, <laughs> 1 o'clock, is that what it is? Yeah. All right. Hey, thanks a lot. Thank you, man.